the anxiety. Tip goes to McGinnis quickly to the doctor. Well, that's one way to start a ball game. That could be a tremendous lift. Get the crowd going. There's the play coming off on the tip shot. McGinnis gets the ball, throws the lead pass to the doctor. Two points. 9 p.m. Eastern time on CBS. The Memorial Golf Tournament is next. Can Jack Nicholas win on his own course? Steal by Irving. Does he have time? He's airborne at the buzzer. The doctor with his magic show. And here he goes. Makes a nice anticipation there. Knocks the ball loose. It happens to go his way. Takes off from no man's land. Carries it up. Jack Ramsey's guards have not been as effective here early offensively as they were against Jerry West of the Los Angeles Lakers. Henry Bevy with eight points already. Doug Collins alive. Love to the doctor. There's the old sucker play. Crossover playing Irving. They cleared out the side. And Hollins and the rebound later is Bill Walton and Irving on the steal. On the turnover, he'll go airborne. He starts. The doctor using this great anticipation right here. Here's the pass. He saw it coming. Ball just bounced out just where he needed it. It's amazing. The two Portland men just stopped because once he gets going, 76ers and the Portland Trailblazers, they know only one speed. Full bore, both teams. Irving. Oh, the doctor is really doing it again now in the start of the second half. Here he goes at the top of the key. He's able to get that right side. Walton tries to come up, but he just goes over him. He did not shoot well. Right away, the guards are into it. Bibby cut off from going all the way by Walton. Irving turns the corner. Walton challenges were tied. Boy, you can't give the Doc the right side. Now watch this. Bob Gross plays him up. Doc takes the right side. He gets by him. Once he gets there, nobody stops him. Front, Jones behind. Walton nodding that time. Lucas takes it himself short. Only one shot. And again, Walton not in the offense. Irving! Collins slows it up because Jack Ramsey wants a timeout, Rick Barry. Yes, and he needs it. We'll see this fast break coming up. Bibby with a great bounce pass. The doctor, when he gets ahead, easy stuff shot. Right now, Philadelphia official did not see it. Davis and Gilliam, Lucas, Walton, and Walker. Doctor's back. House call. Doctor has great anticipation on that play. It's in the locker rooms prior to the game as Lucas comes up on Mix. Mix looking for the man. Goes to Irving. Julius cuts inside with a body control. You let the doctor get a running start at you, and it's virtually impossible to stop him. Take a look at the tremendous body control. Here he is, handling the ball super. He cuts it the lane. Right there. Unbelievable. Cut. Dawkins has taken 50. With time running out, it's the doctor. And it has been some show in the first half. The millionaire. In NBA action, 16 points can disappear very quickly. Two years ago, it was the men from Golden State who made them disappear in a hurry four straight times against Washington. Irving on the alley oop pass. This is the look of frustration. Out misses. Walton was there on defense. Gilliam in the middle. Collins cuts him off. Steele cut off Dockin. Doctor on the interception. Dribbles past Herm Gilliam. Keeps it. Steele flies the doctor. How he can stay in the air so long. There's assault on the hoop, Rick. And we'll see the doctor here coming up. Now watch him take off. He'll get airborne. He gets that step and a half that you are allowed. And just look at him glide and float. Control that basketball. He has fantastic body control. He's like a ballet dancer out there on the floor performing. Jones, outlet for Collins, who tapped it to Bibby. Three on two is the doctor. Big play for Philadelphia and on the turnover. Take a look at this play. There's the tip backwards from Collins. Bibby does not touch it in the backcourt. As Bill Walton just got a dunk shot down this end of the floor. And there's the doctor's last dunk shot going in. Off as he was looking outside. Loose ball, Bibby. Robin Jones hustles back as Walton is off on Jack Ramsey's bench right now as we close out the first half. Irving waited in the air until Collins got underneath. Just a great play by Julius Irving. See what was there? 
two-point game. Bibby popped out on Hollins, and Bibby picked up his second foul. There's the doctor right now making his move through the legs, up in the air. He hangs. He sees what develops, sees Collins open underneath. Good pass. Doug once again moving super without that basketball. And even comes up with a left-handed jump shot. Hit by Bill Bryant. Pulls it down. Outlet for Irving. Joe Bryant has given him a spark. Irving to the basket. The doctor came through 98-92 foul underneath the basket. The foul is on Joe Bryant on Bill Walton, but nobody could hear the whistle. The crowd was so noisy. And here's the doctor coming. Now look, he hardly has no room at all on the baseline. He's behind the basket, reaches out, and lays it in. Great play by the doctor. He's got back in the action. Calhoun is out. It's 22-18 Philadelphia. Doctor tried to steal him. Calhoun throws it to the foot race, and here he comes. Doctor looks for daylight with meaning. He took that to the hoop. Here you go, Julius Irving on his approach pass to the takeoff. About 12 feet from the basket. Look at him right up and over, Gross. There's the man I'd pick in the slam dunk. Guys. Walton rolling off. McGinnis had switched out. No one picked him up on the weak side. The gamble by Julius Irving hurt them that time. Julius roaring to the basket. Came up in Walton's face, and Walton said, had to be offense. And Julius is unbelievable in a wide open situation. I have never seen anybody be able to do the things that he could do. Here we go again. Gross takes a shot at him. Walton goes up. Just look at this. Walton was complaining about his left hand. As you see, he hit him in the head with the ball. But there was contact anyway. Here we go again with the steal. Now let's just watch the doctor operate. There he goes. Takes off up and over. Injury timeout for Walton. Trainer Ron Culp is off to my... Nick's bouncing off. And Lucas was there on the turnover. It's a steal by the doc. Walton there, Irving there, they meet at the top. Well, that's just two great players going against Sydney is really pressing out there. I hate to see that. Up high to the doctor. Is that a play? Yeah, to go back to Collins on the roll, and Bibby had stepped in the hole, and here comes the doctor. Foul by Havlicek. by Bobby Wilkerson. He can pass the ball as well as shoot. Look at that one. Collins, the Dr. J. He was up near the clock. <laughs> Six-point margin for Philadelphia. 7.35 remaining regulation time. Oh. Irving with three nuggets around him. Reverse layup, 104 and a half. What a circus this is to watch today. Well, great shooting. They certainly trade off. And here you see the doctor going one-on-one. -on -one. He gets in baseline. Now watch the weak side help. Bobby Jones, Dan Nistel. But look at this. Boy, the advantage of long arms. For the 76ers. The doctor. They gave him running room. Bibby dumped it out. And the doctor. Cut loose ball. The doctor's got it. Wheels on four. Dishes now. Here's the doctor going in. Watch Green move over. Make it. Lay it off. Bobby Jones there for the layup. Perfectly done. Bad pass by Boop. Enters almost by Ford. Money with control. Eric dishes to the doctor. Now finally you got a clean play. As Money spotted it. Dockin muscles it out of there. Off now to Irving. Money's on the right. The doctor for daylight. says, thank you very much. We're going to work the clock, that's for sure. George Gervin holding Irving. is trying to post him up low on the left side. So the referees here early in the quarter have been calling it pretty close. 
Irving moving on Gervin. They both have to watch for the foul. They must stay in the game. Julius Irving takes a baseline and gets it through, and the 76ers are now down holding up in this one so far. Irving soaring up, sailing down with the defensive board and leading the break the distance. Julius Irving! All the way. He saw daylight at the free throw line on that last one. He was wide open, started to go up, then dropped it off. Nobody was there but Mike Gale, and San Antonio gets it. Now they go to their ace, Julius Irving, and he flies on over the defense and hammers it down. They're up slapping. Uh, pretty good shots. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a sieve. Here it comes. Go make it. Oh, Stolen by the doctor, and here it goes again. Watch out. <laughs> oh, this is three or four fouls, or five fouls. He is watching Cheeks. And the doctor comes in for one of those hundred swooping layups. They cleared it out of the... <laughs> uh, Bobby Jones, control. It's 89-84. Sixers, and they get inside. In the air, palming over the right hand, floating, reaching, and spinning it in. Hang Incredible! Time. What a that play! Here it is again. Unbelievable now shot that the is skill. Cleared out the entire left hand side of the floor. Shot clock inside of ten. Julius swoops to the middle, and he's got a layup. You believe that move? What a Here's Julius. Starts in on Wilkes. Oh. And that's what they got to do. Against Los Angeles, of course, the Knicks finally won it. Reed missed game six. This is Kareem is here. The doctor, and he hangs in the air, but he did it to avoid smashing into Magic. He's Absolutely. He has done everything superbly. Knicks on the bounce pass to the doctor. Julius looking for daylight. Scoop. Two down. Sixers, 88-78. In one in the second half. But the Sixers still have missed five critical free throws. Inside to the doctor. He challenges Jim Combs. And it's 95-89. It is down to six. That's what they need. Take it to the hoop. Right over Jones. Great lead. It's there. 11 to 10. Portland by one. Cheeks underneath. They get to Tony and then to Dr. J. And he leaped in the air with an alley-oop. Faction will go out. And Bobby Jones will check in for Philadelphia. They set up the picket line far side. Richardson pops out to get the ball to Irving. Irving going to drive, and he goes. He stuffs it along the baseline on the right side. Boy, he went around Nat and Kelvin Ramsey. And Philadelphia 28, Portland 25. Action will continue in just a moment. We take a look at Irving on the baseline. Now he comes around, and you cannot give him this much daylight. Takes it over. And even though Washington... Nine minutes to go. All of a sudden, Philadelphia's fluid has gone out. Irving's man, Dr. J, comes back with a vengeance. Even though Phil couldn't hit the wide open jumpers, but he's hitting the tough ones. Here's how mad Dr. There's J is Dr. right Dr. J now. gets the feed from Hollins. Dr. J goes down, slam dunk on Dr. J's paw. And high, Cheeks. Julius Irving inside over Lanier and a fine finger Julius. roll by Julius Irving. Tony's given Mike Creep the shot. He's short there. And Julius the rebound. He's short down court. Actually, Andrew Tony had beaten Lanier, but the biggest lead for them has been four points. Julius gives it two. And Don Nelson says, let's talk it over. And that's what I mean. When, he, when he's coming, good pass back then, Richardson. And... Offensive rebounding where there was some soundly handled in that last game. So both teams are pretty much on target as far as their game plan. The duck. That's what you call a little... Losing control of the ball. Here's a look at Irving with that steam shovel scoop. There it is. Watch it right there. <laughs> Down. Williams coming from the other way, blocked by Sam Williams. 
on Kareem's turnaround left-hand hook that he does not quite extend as high. Cool! Woo! 49 for Philadelphia, and it's good. Another look. Watch the foot come right into your living room. Mm. Proud Papa, he told me, please say to my wife, hello, she's back in Houston with my new little son. Steak, the steal by Maurice Cheeks. Drops it back to Irving, and in, Dr. J now, with six points, and Maurice Cheeks. The doc gets the call, the great finger roll, but you credit that to the tremendous basketball. Four on the shot clock, Birds takes it inside, blocked by Clem Johnson, and here comes Sedell, three, two on one with Irving. Roger, there's a perfect example of what I tried to mention earlier, running the break with an organ. Also, just over three minutes left to go, tied at 99. There's Wedman who breaks free on the side. Bobby Jones on him, six on the shot clock. Wedman throws it away, and Julius with the steal. Cheeks all by himself, and the Sixers lead. Defensive steal, one of the trademarks of... ...be learning from Maurice Cheeks. He's playing like him. Julius all the way. When he is in the open court, kiss it goodbye, baby. You what America have done, they've, they've stressed the Philadelphia deal. Cheeks comes from the blind side and takes it away from Donaldson. Five against two for Philadelphia. And they come up with that creative shot. <laughs> Not exactly the easiest shot for a five-on-two opportunity. It's Moses Malone. Let's he watch the by Murray Cheeks. Cheeks. Sneaks over from the left side. And then Julius comes up with this Flan Melinda move here. And 85 feet to traverse here and try and get a shot off. Now, they have another timeout. And we should have another overtime game unless there's a major foul up on the part of the Dallas Mavericks. Julius will get the last try off from just beyond half court. He got it! A three-pointer! <laughs> Julius Irving Do you has won that? the game! Do you believe that? From 48 feet away, Julius Irving has just done to the Mavericks what Magic Johnson did to, to them on Sunday, except they went to overtime, but this was for the victory and a stunned sellout crowd here at Reunion Arena. The Dallas Mavericks go down to their sixth consecutive defeat. Bill and I will be back with some final comments and our player of the game in just a moment. What an outstanding finish.